Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw shapes directly onto the perspective grid planes. To activate the perspective grid, either select it from the toolbar panel or press the Shift and P keys on your keyboard. I'm going to modify my grid by increasing its cell's size and I will turn the visibility of the horizontal grid to solid so you can better see what we are doing. Notice that the left plane is presently selected. In order to draw objects directly onto the grid plane or move them in perspective, we need to activate the Perspective Selection tool. To do that, press the Shift and V keys on your keyboard or select it from the toolbar panel. It is hidden under the Perspective Grid tool. Now the left blue grid is active. You can notice the word ON or intersect when I hover my cursor over the blue grid lines. Let's change the fill to pink and get rid of the stroke. To draw an object onto the grid, first make sure the perspective selection tool is active and then select any of these preset shapes. I'm going to choose a rectangle. Now hover over one of the blue intersections Click, hold and drag. Let's say we want to move this rectangle in perspective. To do that, make sure your perspective selection tool is active. Don't mistake the perspective selection tool with the regular selection tool. Watch the difference when I try to move this object by using the regular selection tool. The size of the rectangle will remain the same. And that's not what we want. Let's undo it. To move objects in perspective, make sure the Perspective Selection tool is active. And now, as we move the rectangle along the grid plane, it will keep its perspective proportions. Let's delete it. In the next several steps, we will create these blocks. I'm going to change the fill to dark grey. First, make sure your Perspective Selection tool is still active, the left plane is still selected, and like before, select the Rectangle tool. Now click on this intersection and draw a rectangle that is 4 squares long and 1 square tall. Next, let's draw the same size rectangle on the right plane. To do that, make sure the right plane is selected. We can activate the right plane either by pressing the number 3 on your keyboard or selecting the orange grid from the plane switching widget. Now, with the rectangle tool still selected, draw the same size rectangle. Let's change its fill to a different color. Next, we'll draw a top part of our box. To do that, we need to activate the horizontal plane. You can either press the number 2 on your keyboard or click on the green colored grid from the plane switching widget. And now click on this anchor point, hold and drag to the opposite anchor point. Let's change the fill to light grey. Next, we'll draw another box above the existing one. First, switch to the left plane, make sure the rectangle tool is still selected and draw the same size rectangle starting at this intersection. Let's change its fill to black. Now, switch to the right plane and draw another rectangle and give it a different color. If you would like to change the black color of the top rectangle to match the grey color from the bottom rectangle, first switch to the Perspective Selection tool and then click on the black color. Now, using the eyedropper tool, click on the bottom rectangle to get the same color sample. And finally, we will draw the last box. Instead of selecting the rectangle tool again, and drawing a new rectangle, 
you can click on the existing rectangle and while pressing down the ALT key, drag it up to make a copy. Next, we need to draw a rectangle on the right plane. You could switch to the right plane and copy and paste the green rectangle like we did before or there is another way you can do it. With the left plane still active and the tab rectangle still selected, click on it, hold and drag towards the right plane. Still not letting of your mouse, press the number 3 on your keyboard to switch to the right plane. Now position the rectangle over a desired area and holding down the ALT key, make a copy. Let's change the fill to a different color. And finally, we need to draw a bottom portion of our box. First switch to the horizontal plane. Then select the rectangle tool and draw a bottom part. Now apply the same light gray color like we used for the bottom rectangle. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.